In celebration of Digimon Animation's 25th anniversary starting on March 6, 2024, Digimon Partners has introduced a special project titled 100 Minutes of Digimon Calling Your Names. This project involves iconic Digimon characters saying the names of fans in character. Featuring Agumon voiced by Chika Sakamoto, Gabumon Mayumi Yamaguchi, from Digimon Adventure, Vimon Junko Noda and Wormon, Naozumi Takahashi, from Digimon Adventure 02. Fans can apply for the chance to have their names featured in the video, and they can also submit additional words they'd like the Digimon to say. The application process is open until January 31st, and the anticipated release date for the video is March 2024. The Digimon saying your name is randomly selected. Applications can be submitted from outside Japan, but the entries must be in Japanese. Applicants should use their first name and write it in Japanese characters, hiragana, to avoid pronunciation issues. The estimated capacity for names in the video is around 400, but this is subject to change. This initiative offers fans a delightful opportunity to participate in the anniversary celebration by having beloved Digimon characters personally call out their names. Vote for your favorite Digimon in the 94th Digimon Referendum. In the second part of the 93rd Digimon Fan Vote, 31 characters were added to the Digimon Encyclopedia throughout 2023. From Direbit Mon on January 8th to Takuto Mon on December 22nd. Now it's time to choose your favorite among the characters added in the second part. Pick from the following options High Common Dramon, Brigadramon, Fanglong Mon Ruin Mode, Sun Mon Moon Mon, Lux Mon, Archai Angemon, Domini Mon, Lian Pu Mon, Shin Ten Mon, Dijan Mon, Uko Mon, Big Uko Mon. Fenrir Lugamon Takamikazuchi or Takutomon. Cast your vote and let the digital world know which Digimon has become your favorite among the new additions to the Digimon Encyclopedia. Dragon Dance Prosperity. Celebrate Harmony. Chinese New Year festivities will be held in the game Digimon New Century from February 1st to February 22nd. Players can enjoy various activities like daily check-ins, storyline challenges, dragon trials, and a food plaza. Special rewards include rare summon tickets, advanced awakening codes, and limited time skins. There's also a chance to win Gabumon Bond of Friendship Soul Stones. Additional events involve collecting New Year cards for rewards, ranking based on activity, and participating in the Friendship Bonds event for a chance to obtain Gabumon BF Soul Stones. In the latest update of Digimon New Century, Eosmon has been introduced in its mega form. Starting from January 24th, players can collect Eosmon fragments as part of the daily login bonus. And after 21 days, they'll have a complete set of 100 pieces. Described in-game as a support, poison, and counter damage type, Eosmon Mega brings a unique ability to the team. When casting its special move, it bestows the Prism of Colors, reducing damage to allies during attacks and simultaneously dealing damage to enemies. It's worth noting that Eosmon also made its appearance in Digimon Last Evolution Kizuna. Joining other iconic Digimon like Agumon and Gabumon Bond, which are also newly added to the game. The mega form of Eosmon emerges from a researcher's loss of control, attempting to fuse numerous Eosmon into a singular entity. This powerful Eosmon Mega operates with a single directive eliminate all obstacles. Eosmon Mega being a wood attribute. Data type, Strength 25, is stronger than Omegamon. Digimon Web celebrated the 25th anniversary of Digimon World's release on the original PlayStation by sharing social art. The message commemorated the game's launch on January 28, 1999, highlighting Gigimon's role in choosing a player skilled at raising Digimon to gather them on the island. Many players began their journey from Gigimon's house. The Bandai Card Game Fest in Los Angeles has unveiled some exciting updates for us. 
We're treated to key art from Digimon Liberator, showcasing our characters in a face-off against Imperial Dramon Fighter Mode Black. Additionally, two new characters, Zenith and Owen Dreadnought, make their debut. Get ready for an English exclusive. The Double Typhoon card will be part of the next starter deck. Even more thrilling. The card game is set for a worldwide simultaneous release starting in spring. The event boasts an array of card game art, information on featured Digimon, and showcases of both recent and upcoming English cards. Plus, we get a closer look at various card game products and larger banners, including various displays featuring Digimon Liberator, Digivices, a Seeker's display, and much more. Visitors immerse themselves in Digimon Adventure-themed photo spots, featuring iconic characters and even a themed Agumon card, and displays chronicling the history of Digimon television animation, complete with poster art, short descriptions, and basic info. Dedicated displays for the latest Digimon movie, Digimon Adventure 02 The Beginning, round out the event. Ayumi Miyazaki, a special guest at Bandai Card Game Fest, mentioned it was his first time singing at a card game-related event. He shared a photo of his arrival at the LA Convention Center for rehearsals, expressing joy at the sunny weather and shedding his down jacket. The latest Digimon Liberator art, unveiled at Bandai Card Game Fest Los Angeles, is now available in clean versions. The key art showcases Imperial Dramon Fighter Mode Black in action, attacking the main characters, offering a more detailed and impressive look than earlier photos. Additionally, clean versions of the profile art for the newly introduced characters, Owen, Dreadnought, and Zenith, are also now accessible. Digimon 15 Second Analyze, featuring Leoman. Wait, but is it alive? Let's hop on its profile before this hero meets yet another untimely death. This Beastman Digimon is known as the King of Beasts and also the Noble Hero. Amidst the many frenzied Digimon out there, Leoman possesses both strength of will as well as a sense of justice. It chokes the life out of the opponent with its ultimate technique, the special move, Fist of the Beast King. Digimon Seekers Chapter 4.7 Spoilers ahead, be warned. Tartarus reveals his ambitious plan to crack the digital world's code temporarily, aiming to circumvent the Royal Knights and the System Administrator for the sole purpose of saving Saya. He emphasizes the limited scope of his intentions, denying any desire to rule the digital world permanently. Yulin strongly opposes human meddling in the digital world, emphasizing the areas where humanity shouldn't tread. Meanwhile, three objects representing data, virus, and vaccine attributes begin to float, overlap, and merge in a complex pattern, forming a massive foundation that gradually rises, creating an intricate stone circle reminiscent of Stonehenge. As the stone blocks assemble themselves into a towering structure, E.G. observes its growth, perceiving it as an ancient outdoor amphitheater or arena. The ground transforms into a bowl shape with a central stage where three prototype Digimon and their hololized companions stand, surrounded by the towering stone circle. Ryudamon questions Doramon about his interest in Tartarus and Kosuke, to which Doramon calmly expresses his loyalty and a desire to repay Tartarus's kindness. He aims to change the world and free the digital world, despite the uncertain consequences. Tartarus reveals the syringe filled with data, explaining their plan to gain admin privileges for locating missing individuals in the infinite digital world. Yulin, shocked, realizes Professor Ryosenji's involvement in Operation Tartarus. The stone circle glows with symbols, connecting the objects to their respective prototype Digimon through a mysterious language. But suddenly, the process shuts down, plunging the area into darkness. A.G., witnessing the legendary code cracking and the glowing symbols in this unexplored section of the digital world, realizes that they are the first humans to leave their mark here. 
Just as the symbols illuminate, an enigmatic voice breaks the silence with a greeting. Good morning, friends. Abruptly, darkness envelops the scene, leaving A.G. in suspense as a blackout occurs.